Dee, Dee just to finish up, we're going to finish our evening where we started, asking about Istanbul. This is a question from Thomas Maguire. And Thomas says, I'm looking forward to the answer to this, what really happened in the dressing room in Istanbul at half-time? Um, pretty boring, not an awful lot. Uh, if you came in the dressing room uh, in 2005 and heard the manager address us, um, you probably wouldn't have known whether we were winning 3-0 or losing 3-0 because it was dead calm, it was very pragmatic. Um, we came in, he said, have a drink. After two minutes, he addressed us. He said, we make a change in the second half. Um, Jimmy Torre was meant to come off. Um, I'm coming on, so he went through the team, how we play in the second half. Obviously, the reason me coming on was to move Steven Gerrard a bit further forward because he was our biggest goal threat. Um, and then the, the most remarkable, remarkable thing that happened probably was that Steve Finnan complained about a, a sore groin. And we already made a change in the first half. Uh, Harry Kuhl came off, uh, Smitsa came on. Mm -hmm. And then he asked Steve Finn how long he can play. Um, and Finn said maybe about 20, 25 minutes. So he made a decision on the spot, which I didn't know because I was outside warming up. And he got Jimmy Traore back out of the shower because if Jimmy had come off and then he has to take Steve Finn off after 60, 65 minutes and you get into extra time, you haven't got a substitute for 60 minutes. And that was the thinking behind it. And this is where I think great managers are always one step ahead because that could have potentially cost us the game. Not because Steve Finnan stayed on, but, yeah. but because we got in the, um, into extra time and then uh, we couldn't have uh, used any more subs. And um, yeah, it was, he went through the team, how we're going to play in the second half, went through the set pieces. Um, and that was it really, because he can't dwell on the past. And I'm sure the manager tonight didn't say we need three more goals. Everybody knows what's, what's at stake and what needs doing. Um, and you just have to look forward, you know, there's no point uh, looking backwards saying you had fault for the goal. He was very calm and um, no blaming. He said we need to get the next goal and then see what happens. And uh, I'm sure that the manager tonight chose similar words to the ones Benitez. And um, fortunately for us and for them tonight, it worked. Well, two historic nights separated by 05 to, to 2019.